The RCH-155, developed by the KNDS Group, represents one of the most advanced self-propelled artillery systems available today, merging cutting-edge technology with remarkable battlefield flexibility. At its core lies a 155mm L-52 gun derived from the PZH-2000, mounted on the 8x8 Boxer armored vehicle. This combination is designed to provide unparalleled mobility, firepower, and automation, making it a significant evolution in modern wheeled artillery. Unlike traditional self-propelled guns, the RCH-155 integrates an entirely automated turret system that allows a minimal crew to operate a complex and highly lethal weapon, giving militaries a compelling mix of speed, precision, and survivability. The origins of the RCH-155 date back to the early 2000s with the development of the Artillery Gun Module, or AGM. This module was conceived by Krauss Maffei Wegman and represents a direct lineage from the formidable PZH-2000 howitzer. The AGM was designed with flexibility in mind, allowing it to be mounted on various platforms, rather than being restricted to a single chassis. The RCH-155, the combination of the AGM and the Boxer 8x8 vehicle, was first unveiled publicly in 2014 at the Eurosatory exhibition, marking a new era of modular, highly automated artillery systems. The debut highlighted not only the main 155mm gun but also an optional 50 caliber heavy machine gun, demonstrating the system's adaptability to different operational needs. One of the most striking features of the RCH-155 is its high level of automation. The system requires only a two-person crew to operate, a significant reduction compared to traditional artillery systems. This is made possible through the integration of a fully automated loading system for both projectiles and modular charges, reducing manual handling and increasing firing speed. The autoloader, combined with substantial ammunition storage, allows the RCH-155 to maintain high rates of fire without immediate resupply. This capability is particularly advantageous in modern high-intensity conflicts, where rapid delivery of firepower and quick repositioning can be the difference between success and vulnerability to counter-battery strikes. The RCH-155 also incorporates the multiple-round simultaneous impact MSI, capability, a hallmark of high-end artillery systems. MSI allows several rounds, fired at varying trajectories, to land on a target simultaneously, creating a devastating effect on enemy positions. This requires sophisticated fire control and trajectory computation, both of which are fully integrated into the RCH-155. In addition to precision indirect fire, the system can engage moving targets on both land and sea, highlighting its versatility and operational flexibility. This combination of capabilities positions the RCH-155 as a highly adaptive weapon suitable for a wide variety of combat scenarios. Mobility is another core strength of the RCH-155. The Boxer platform provides a stable firing base, allowing the weapon to fire in a full 360-degree arc across its elevation range without deploying support legs. This feature not only improves operational flexibility but also significantly reduces setup time, allowing for rapid deployment in dynamic combat environments. Perhaps most impressively, the system supports what has been termed Shoot and Scoot 2.0, which enables the howitzer to fire accurately while on the move. This reduces exposure to counter-battery fire and allows artillery units to relocate immediately after firing, a capability that few wheeled self-propelled guns can match. Autonomous navigation and fire control further enhance the system's operational efficiency, minimizing human error and maximizing responsiveness. The naming and platform distinctions of the RCH-155 are also noteworthy. While RCH-155 specifically refers to the AGM mounted on a boxer vehicle, the AGM itself is platform agnostic. When integrated with other carriers, such as the Ascot chassis, it is known as Nemesis or previously Donner. Switzerland has opted to mount AGM modules on its Piranha 410x10 vehicles, but these are not technically considered RCH-155 systems. 
This modularity allows the same core technology to serve different armed forces according to their existing vehicle fleets, expanding the potential market and operational versatility. In terms of performance, the Boxer-based RCH-155 is impressive. It can sustain firing rates exceeding 8 rounds per minute and carries a mix of approximately 30 fused rounds along with modular charges. The combat weight is just under 40 metric tons, and dimensions of roughly 10.5 meters in length, 3 meters in width, and 3.6 meters in height make it both large enough for stability yet compact enough to operate on road and off-road environments. Engine configurations, such as the MTU power pack producing up to 815 horsepower, provide high mobility, enabling road speeds of up to 100 km per hour and ranges surpassing 700 km, depending on terrain and payload. These specifications ensure that the RCH-155 can keep pace with mechanized forces while maintaining the ability to deliver precise, sustained firepower. Despite its technological advantages, the RCH-155 is not without limitations. One potential drawback is its high profile, which could make the vehicle more visible to enemy surveillance and targeting systems. Cost is another significant factor. Early estimates place a single RCH-155 at around 12 million euros, positioning it among the most expensive wheeled artillery systems on the market. Additionally, the mechanical sophistication of the platform, while enabling advanced capabilities, introduces challenges in terms of maintenance, repair, and spare part supply. These considerations may influence procurement decisions, particularly for nations with constrained defense budgets or limited logistical infrastructure. The system's real-world performance remains under observation. Ukraine is currently the only country to have received operational RCH-155 units, with orders totaling 54 systems to equip three artillery battalions. Germany and the United Kingdom have announced intentions to adopt the RCH-155 as well, with anticipated combined procurement of up to 400 units. Germany is reported to seek 160 units, while the UK could account for up to 240, intending to replace aging self-propelled artillery systems such as the AS-90. The UK has acquired Swedish Archer systems as an interim measure until the RCH-155 becomes available, with full introduction projected around 2029. These timelines underscore both the high demand for cutting-edge artillery and the challenges of producing complex systems at scale. The RCH-155 strategic appeal lies in its combination of mobility, automation, and firepower. Its auto-loading system and substantial ammunition capacity allow extended high-tempo firing, while its shoot-and-scoot 2.0 capability dramatically enhances survivability against counter-battery threats. The ability to operate autonomously, including navigation and fire control, reduces crew workload and mitigates errors in high-pressure scenarios. Its 360-degree firing envelope and capacity to engage moving targets further enhance its tactical flexibility, providing forces with a highly responsive and adaptable weapon system suitable for modern, fast-paced battlefield conditions. Nonetheless, prospective buyers must weigh these benefits against practical considerations. The RCH-155 is complex, and its high maintenance demands could challenge militaries unaccustomed to German engineering intricacies. The price point is substantial, making it a considerable investment, especially when contrasted with less costly but still capable systems like the French Caesar or Swedish Archer. Lead times for production are another factor, as major orders from Germany and the UK could delay availability for smaller or late adopting countries. Operational durability under sustained combat conditions is yet to be proven, and real-world testing in Ukraine will likely serve as the first true measure of the system's effectiveness under intense use. In conclusion, the RCH-155 exemplifies the next generation of wheeled self-propelled artillery, combining modularity, automation, mobility, and precision into a single, highly capable package. Its ability to fire on the move, perform multiple rounds simultaneous impacts, and operate with a minimal crew makes it a potent tool for modern mechanized forces. Yet, the system's cost, complexity, 
visibility, and limited production capacity temper its appeal for all but the most well-resourced militaries. For nations already operating boxer platforms or seeking the pinnacle of artillery automation, the RCH-155 offers a compelling solution. However, whether it will redefine global artillery norms or remain a specialized high-end option will depend on real-world battlefield performance, sustainment, and the ability of production lines to meet demand. Observers and military planners alike will be watching Ukraine, Germany, and the UK closely as the first operational units demonstrate how effectively this advanced weapon can perform under the stresses of contemporary warfare. The next several years will likely determine whether the RCH-155 becomes a benchmark for modern artillery or a niche system for technologically ambitious militaries.